I can remember playing an acoustic show in Niagara Falls just a few hours before flying out of Toronto en route to Vancouver in September of 2014. I was headed off to record songwriter Samantha Hui for this crazy little idea turned reality called the Globe Series. Unlike other artists to come in the series, I've actually known Sam for many years. I've always been drawn to her voice, songwriting, and incredibly warm personality. So having her as the first artist I was to work with on the road was both comfortable and really awesome. When did you start playing guitar? I started playing guitar when I was 11 years old. Now, I haven't felt this inspired by a journey in quite a long time. Probably since I went away to school, which, coincidentally, is where I met Samantha. My favorite show, I'd say, played a Cappy Just Lay with uh, John Bryant, who's an amazing artist and a wonderful musician. And that was a great show, it was a great vibe. As the first of many opportunities to present themselves in the Globe series, Sam and I got to fly over Vancouver in a helicopter. And she was terrified. Are you ready to jump on a helicopter right now? So Terrifyingly excited. I love it. I love everything. Is it an old wives' tale that 90% of all the helicopters crash? <laughs> because we're going um, on a helicopter. Sam is wanting to do a little Jack Daniels before we do this helicopter interview. Cheers to the whole series. This is going to happen. It's been happening since the world. And I just actually need you to put a contact number two, just in case Aaron crashes. We know who to reach you at. <laughs> now, when I first met Sam at school, many in my program were captivated by her voice and songwriting. And this in combination with her humility, kind-heartedness, and quirkiness contribute to why we're still so close today. Who's your favorite singer-songwriter? During these short webisodes, I won't have much time to elaborate on these amazing artists that I've had the fortune of working with around the world. But what I would suggest is that you take the time to check out their websites, perhaps catch a show, or buy some of their music online. At the end of this webisode, you can check out SamanthaHui.com. There you can find some live performances, find out more about her, and buy her album on iTunes. Hey Sam, what's the best part about helicopter rides? Not dying. Who was the first person you ever jammed with? First, well, it was a group of people. Um, it was in grade six. We had a band. It was called Jelly Bean. And <laughs> we did Alanis Morissette and Green Day covers, and it was pretty rad. Fair. <laughs> so, when are you getting back together? <laughs> <laughs> we do have a reunion tour scheduled, actually, um, coming spring. So, yes. so Sam, the song you're performing for the Globe series, what's it about? Um, it's kind of about the realization that you're leaving the town that you grew up in. That's the people that kind of make it feel like home. I remember Sam and I driving around North Vancouver looking for that ideal spot to record her song. We also knew that in a few days' time I would fly over the Pacific Ocean and begin my hunt for the next songwriter for the Globe series. I was fortunate to find artist Jordan Miller, who lent his voice to this performance from more than 12,000 kilometers away in Sydney, Australia. Tell me, what's the, well, first let's start with the song name. What's the song name? <laughs> <laughs> um, the song name is Alaska. First week of September, we lay in your bed. We're barely touching aside from our thoughts in our hands. I'm trying to take in all the words that you've said. Said you're heading up north in three months' time. You ask why I'm quiet, well, I'm just praying you change your mind. Like you always said. It's just a matter of time And without you I'll be as cold as Alaska I'm too scared to ask you How long you'll be gone Oh Cause all that I know is You're the closest thing to home That I've felt in so long But every summer sees its autumn So every winter is bound to thaw
You say that you're sorry and that maybe this should stop. You've always been worried about how well you'd spare my heart. But I'm known all the dangers I have from the start. Time or place, maybe someday. Cause now I know you're just trying. We're all just trying to find a way. Whether we're following the stars or running blindly through the dark. Without you, I'll be as cold as Alaska. And I'm too scared to ask you how long you'll be gone. Oh, cause all that I know is you're the closest thing to home. In so long, in so long, oh, and you know I never ask you to stay, cause I know everything in life has its reason to change, and yeah, it's sad, but it's beautiful that way. As cold as Alaska, and I'm too scared to ask you how long you'll be gone. Cause all that I know is you're the closest thing to home that I've felt in so long, in so long. I think it's okay with the car noises? I think it's okay, Sam. That's fine. Because okay. I. No, that's fine. No worries about it. You can do it again. No, it's fine. Actually, yeah. keep it. Yeah? Because I, I felt the most comfortable with that. I thought that was a great one. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That's great. Just so I don't get too nostalgic, this is what Vancouver actually looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, film raining. It's raining in a parking lot. That's... <laughs> yeah. This is all you are, Vancouver. <laughs>